Mark Canna's really getting it going again. He's been unbelievable. Canna's on the run. He reaches out on the run, makes the catch. Canna hits this one hard to left field. He'll slide oh. into that catch. It is a home run for Mark Canna. And that was smoked. Mark Canna does it again. Canna hits one down the line and out. And he pulls those hands in and he got the head on that baseball. And a no doubter. He makes it look super easy. Yeah, Mark Canna is going to be here a little bit later this afternoon as the Brewers and Nationals continue their series. It comes your way from the nation's capital a little after one o'clock local time. Wade Miley and Mackenzie Gore. That is your pitching matchup. And Mark Canna joins us yes. now here on MLB Central from Ballpark Cam. Mark, it has obviously been an interesting and probably bewildering few hours for you. How are you settling in with your new club? Uh, it's been great. Um, the vibe here in the clubhouse is, is really chill and um, it's made the tra transition really easy and smooth for me. And Mark, the, the hours leading up to the deadline, what are you doing? Are you checking your phone? Are you watching TV? Or are you just completely kind of zoning it out? What's that like? Uh, it's a funny story kind of. I was, uh, I went to see Oppenheimer with, we had an off day in Kansas City and yeah. me and a couple of the guys from the Mets were we're just catching a movie, trying to uh, not do that, not hold ourselves up <laughs> in our rooms, you know, looking at Twitter all day. So we were we were watching Oppenheimer, and I got traded in the middle of the movie. So I'm oh wow, I was I was a little bummed. I, I missed the last half hour. Well, here's what of happens. Oppenheimer. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, real quick, Mark. I think it's funny that you went to see Oppenheimer to get away from baseball, but yet you go to a movie where Tyler Glass now is the lead. In the movie, so that's uh, that's very yeah. very strange. He was excellent in the film. I, uh, hats off to him for uh, for a great performance. Hey Mark, did you have any idea where you could be going? I remember in '09, I walked in the clubhouse in Cleveland. They said Philly or St. Louis, give us an hour. Did you have any idea where where you might end up? No, not really any idea. Um, you know, I heard a lot of guys around the, that time who were talk, trying to see if they could talk to the front office and, and get an idea and, yeah. and have the communication be clear. And I know the front office was being as upfront as they could. Um, but I, I didn't want to know, really. I kind of just separated myself from it and said, you know, whatever happens, happens. I don't want to drive myself crazy thinking about the, the possibilities. And Robert gets real caught up in the minutia of, of being traded yeah. so you get on a plane you oh, got to yeah. go you're in the lineup and you're playing but he's worried uh -huh. about like disconnecting your internet forwarding mail and, and, and yeah forwarding <laughs> mail how, yeah. How, how do we how handle does that all work this? uh it's a team effort between uh <laughs> myself and my wife uh you know tying all the loose ends and um it's a process that I'm sure is going to take uh, longer than I expect. And, um, you know, you, you want one thing at a time while just, trying to focus on baseball, I guess. His, I, I just love the idea of, of Mark calling Con Ed and just say, hey, this is Mark Canna. I got to gas off. I, I got to shut the gas off at this place. And they're like, what? <laughs> what, the? what? What the reason? <laughs> well, I got traded. That's why I got to shut. You don't know that? Yeah. Hey, Mark, I remember when the pitch clock was new and I read a quote from you saying it doesn't give you a lot of time to think. And as a result, I can simplify. And for some people, that's a good thing. Were you inferring that that was a good thing for you? And do you still feel that way? Um, I think you have to turn your, you have to, for me, you know, being in this, in the big leagues for like eight years, I've had to kind of turn my brain on and, and say, okay, we got to move a little bit faster here and remind myself of that before the game starts. And, uh, it when you get in that zone and get in that pace it it works well for me and then other times sometimes you'll get somewhere and the clock will seem a little faster or something and uh that's when it, it can be tough too i think it goes both ways mark you mentioned the the good vibes in that brewer clubhouse among your new teammates uh we see them with the celebrations and the cheese head can you elaborate a little bit more on how they've welcomed you and what your early impressions are of this group? Um, 
Yeah, yeah, it's just a bunch of guys that, that are relaxed and are professionals. They just come and play and have fun, it seems like. I mean, I've only been here uh, less than 24 hours, but um, I'm excited. You know, I know a couple guys. I have uh, Christian Yelich, who I've spent uh, coming up in the minor leagues with, and, and Rowdy Telez is a fellow Bay Area boy. So... Um, there's some familiar faces there, and um, and the guys have just been really, really great, really um, welcoming. I know you're a foodie, right? Yeah. Yes. Have you had cheese curds yet? Yeah. I mean, I'm a little <laughs> going from Manhattan to Milwaukee. It's gonna be tough. Well, yeah. Uh, well, Milwaukee, from what I hear, I spent most of my career in the American League, but um, <laughs> Milwaukee's got a, a good little food scene. Okay. So um, I'm excited to dive into that. Um, there's a there's a food market I know I have to check out. Uh, some guys, Daniel Vogelbach was there and he was, you know, right away was coming up to me with all the restaurants I need to go to. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's a, it's a, I think it's a sneaky good food city. Mark, you were the subject of our uh, Central Scribbles conversation we had last week. I need you to look at this drawing. Do you have a monitor in front of you? Does this look yeah. like a can to you? Yes yeah, or the, no? The, the, you were an answer to the to the uh, category, which was players oh, from I've the National this. League. Does e. that scream Mark Canna? Because yeah. it does not. It looks like an can. avocado with a piece of paper. <laughs> oh, Loose leaf. Yeah, it could be that too. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you do it side by What's side, it, it makes out? a lot of sense, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like the can popping with the. Yeah, okay. exactly. I see it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We got it. The fizz yeah. coming hey. out. Yeah. Mark, that's good. College football's right around the corner. Every <laughs> I time I see you, it. I think of the Jim Harbaugh. I can't, I, I mean, I think you're spot on Doppel Jim guy. Harbaugh. Yeah. Put it up. Oh, we have a side okay. by, I mean, I was like, why? I don't. I'm seeing it. I don't see it. You could like, play him if you wanted. Like to. Jim, are you into college football at all? Yeah. Um, I mean, I went to Cal, and um, the band's on the field. Uh, I mean, Marshawn Lynch, let's Aaron Rodgers. Let's call a spade a spade. Yeah, yeah. When they when I was good, they were there, and and I was into it. But um, these days they're not um, they're not contending <laughs> too well in the in the national ranks. Um, but I, I I pay attention. My wife went to Notre Dame, so oh, I, I'm kind of a, a Notre Dame fan. By okay. association. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What'd you have for breakfast? Uh, bacon and eggs and a coffee quickly because I had to be out here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate yeah. you making a little time for us. Thank uh, you. We hope you settle in and uh, we hope this transition is a smooth one for you and your family. And uh, best of luck to you and the Brewers the rest of the way. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, yeah. Mark.